say an ornament. I'll show you what's left. The snowman, the penguin, the Christmas tree, or the slime. Which one do you think it's gonna be? Uh, you think slime? What do you think, Sissy? Um, snowman. I think snowman too. No guess today? Oh, oh he said it's too stuff. close, too close. He can't guess, all right. One thing I can say is they definitely put Don't these things in here. <laughs> Let me let me take a peek first. Oh, ready? Yeah. Snowman. I'm getting not to trust my weather on my phone or any weather thing that I look at because none of them are ever right. The weather didn't even say it was gonna rain today, but here we are. You wanna see? Yeah. You hear it? Yeah. Jonah's got his biscuit. You better take it in. It's gonna get ice in it. Now we gotta turn this back on. It got too cold in here. This electric fireplace, y'all, we got it from Lowe's last year. I've had a few people ask about it. Came from Lowe's. It does not run up the electric bill. Like, I actually think it makes it better. Our electric bill last winter was not as high as it normally is when we had this. And we also have one in both of the bedrooms downstairs because the upstairs stays really, really warm. But downstairs, it's colder because, of course, you know, heat rises. Y'all know these things. Anyways, it stays really warm upstairs. So in both of the downstairs bedrooms, we have a heater. Oh, actually, Tyler, he has one upstairs in his room, too, but he doesn't have to turn it on a lot. Anyway, the ones in the bedrooms are not like this. It's just the little black ones. But since we've been using those, the electric bill was way lower. And I think it's because this just helps heat the house up faster. And so the central heat doesn't have to work as hard. And maybe these don't use as much electricity, but it's low. It's very low. I mean, not very low, but a lot lower than it normally is. So yeah, it definitely didn't make it worse. I think it made it better. Since the weather outside is frightful, we're gonna be staying inside today. I did have planned to go out today and do the last bit of Christmas errands that I needed to do. I'm probably going to get groceries tomorrow or the next day. So whichever day I don't go get groceries, I'll finish up the Christmas stuff on that day. I'm gonna get me some more coffee and I'm gonna work on cleaning the house today. I am out of creamer, y'all. Oh my goodness. I'll mix a little peppermint mocha with the Dunkin' Extra Extra. That'll be fine. <laughs> today will be a clean the house, do lots of laundry kind of day. that go to the house you think over here we have the C puzzle it has 205 pieces oh it's this is the one that's in the shape of an oval isn't it yeah yeah that's how it's gonna look oh you got this piece on there yeah I think this one goes right there snip. I snipped it <laughs> uh oh I think that one snips on there Manny he says snips instead of snaps <laughs> snip. Snip. 
Mm. It's not snipping there. I don't think it fits there. Let's see. Hi, here's the other. Yep. Snip. 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 I bet this one goes here. Snip. Now you got the last piece. How do you think it goes? Look, this is red. So find the red part of that piece and put the red with the red. See that? See the red? Put it with that red. Snip. Yay! Now we get started. this rainy day. Hold on, let me find it. I gotta find where I put it. <laughs> We're gonna make some snowman cupcakes. Now I'm sure Dolly's Southern Style Coconut Cake Mix is great, but we are gonna doctor it up just a little bit. We have some cute little peppermint swirl looking cupcake liners. We have vanilla frosting, but we're gonna turn this into a coconut vanilla frosting. I got this little snowman decorating. I actually got these for cookie night, and y'all, I forgot all about them. I got some new sprinkles, too. I got them for when we were having cookie night, but I left the bags in the back of the van because I was like, I don't have anything that needs to go in the refrigerator. I'll get the bags out tomorrow, and guess who forgot about those bags? Oh, Jonah found the missing piece. We were missing a piece to that puzzle over there. It's almost as big as the coffee table. Your time has come, KitchenAid. Get ready. You got a busy few days ahead. We're gonna start with the cake mix. We're gonna put in half a stick of melted butter. The recipe calls for a whole stick, but like I said, we're changing up a few things. I'm gonna go ahead and melt that, and we're gonna put in four eggs. There's the butter and the eggs. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and mix this a little bit and then we'll add the milk in. Oh, let me plug it up, y'all. Merry Christmas. I'm having a Christmas memory of a coconut cake with cherries. I'm almost gonna have to call my mama and ask her, did she make a coconut cake that had cherries on top? That's, for some reason, that's coming to my mind when I'm thinking about a Christmas coconut cake. Jonah said maybe I saw it on an old Christmas commercial. Y'all know I love to watch those. <laughs> All right, so we only used half a stick of butter. Now we're gonna put in some of this sweetened condensed coconut milk. Titus got this for some kind of smoothie he made the other day. This is, I guess, probably about a fourth of a cup, maybe a little more than a fourth of a cup. Y'all know people gonna change up this recipe. It's almost like one of Jonah's science experiments here. Here we go. All right, now that I didn't even preheat the oven yet. See how they come apart? Cece will show you how. She knows exactly how to do it. And we need to put two in these holes. Oh, wait. Oh, man. <laughs> do you need Take this one? one? Um, I think we'll have enough with the stack Sissy's got. We'll save these for another one. For supper tonight, y'all, we're having leftovers or find what you want night. We have a lot of that taco soup left from last night and it was so good. Good boy. Very good. Okay, for the frosting, I put in one cup of heavy whipping cream. I'm gonna go ahead and whip this up. Okay, the heavy cream was just starting to make peaks. I went ahead and turned it off. Now I'm adding in about half of this container of the creamy vanilla frosting and just a little bit of this coconut sweetened condensed milk, just like maybe two tablespoons there. put this in the refrigerator while we wait for the cupcakes to get done and when they come out of the oven I'm gonna toast some coconut flakes for a few of the cupcakes
these cupcakes are good y'all everybody's loving them the only thing i would do different i would just have a whipped cream icing frosting whatever the tub frosting now the family they like that but they would rather have that <laughs> than whipped cream but especially for a coconut cake i just love a whipped cream frosting on there but everybody's loving it so either way would be good i'm gonna finish cleaning up and then go ahead and start warming up the taco soup when everything is white glimmering silver white a truck oh my goodness lion it's yeah. Christmas. Uh, fish. Yeah. A winter wonderland. A snowball in each hand. Take me away. Christmas Day. <laughs> 